Hey guys, it's Josh Rossi with CompositePlanet.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Josh Rossi Photo. Today I'm going to show you a really quick trick to matching up your backgrounds with your skies or whatever other background you replace it with. And specifically when there is brush or trees or plants in the background. That seems to be the hardest to composite in because you have to be really precise and make it look good. So this is the original photo right here. You can see that I had to take out all of the mountains and the rocks and everything. And really simple, the way I did this, I'm gonna show you really quickly. I hit P on the keyboard, went to my pen tool, and I basically just followed the brush like this. Wherever it made sense to follow it, I, f I followed it like this. And it was pretty rough, it was a pretty rough cutout. And I went over here, I got all these plants over here. And um, you kinda had to be precise when you're doing this, I mean, as precise as you can anyway that's basically what I did and it came out to look like this so this is pretty much as precise <laughs> as you want to get it you don't want to be extremely detailed and take up too much time but this is basically what I did I just kind of made a random cut out of this whole thing and that doesn't really matter because we're gonna make it look a lot better in just a second so the one trick that has been really useful to me and will definitely help you guys out is to use when you're erasing around these things to make them look really nice use your um, plant brushes or any other brush that is that looks like this or that that simulates the plant so for example what I'm gonna do is use this one right here this tree brush and I'm on my eraser down here and all I'm going to do here is go to Window Brush, and I'm going to flip, hit that little arrow there, and you can see at the bottom the brush is flipping. So I'm going to flip it so it's, uh, it's almost upside down right there. Oops, go back there. Okay. So now that it's upside down, what we're going to do is zoom up here to these plants. Just make it a little bit smaller, and make sure your opacity is 100%. Oops. I'm going to go to my top layer there. And all you're going to do is erase like this around the image. And you can see here that it is simulating what the plants would look like and what they did look like in this original image. Sort of staggered and, and like that. So anyway, that is what I'm doing around the whole image. And then what you can do is also switch up the plant brush, which I do a lot, and just get some variety, maybe something like that same thing you want to go to window brush and turn it so it's you know almost upside down and do the same thing just erase in certain spots like this you guys get the idea and that is how you can make your plants look realistic when you're replacing the background now if you want to get hard to reach spots you need to turn the brush so that it fits those spots so for example, I'm turning it sideways so I can get to that part right there. Just like that. And then I'm going to get this other little curve right here. So I want to turn the brush the other way and get that curve right there. So you guys get the idea. That's how to make the backgrounds look a lot better and match up better than this smooth weirdness over here. So anyway, thank you guys for watching and hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Check out Composite Planet for other free and pro tutorials on compositing and we will see you again soon.